What is up, guys? K Dogs Kennel coming back at you with more Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age walkthrough. And it is now time, guys. It is now time to ascend the Pharaohs. I have kept Redis in my party long enough, and the main reason I kept him in my party is because I was under the impression that you could not spawn a level 99 red chocobo without Redis in your party. However, I'm mistaken. You can spawn a level 99 red chocobo without Redis. You just have to get... The only way you can spawn the chocobo, uh, which we're going to do in a later part, is to get to the point of the game where Redis joins your party. Okay, so I was a little bit misinformed. Uh, that was my own fault, but... We are literally outside the Pharaohs. This is where we fought the Hydro. So um, the reason I'm starting it here is because we're going to have a cutscene as we approach the doors. So I'm going to shut up and let you guys listen to the cutscene. Hey, friend. Something's written on the wall. Engraved by someone, it seems. Hmm. It's quite old. Lo, seeker in days unborn, God blade bearer. Know you, this tower challenges the sky. Where the watcher, the ward of the three weights, soul hungry, unsated. He without power, want it not. He with power, trust it not. He with sight, heed it not. Rend illusion, cut the true path. In blood, Wraithwall. The Dynast King? <laughs> Does it startle you? The Dynast King took his sword from the Ocuria. It was here he claimed the Nethysite. He must have known he was not the last the Ocuria would choose. He left this for you. Rend illusion, cut the true path. Words of much mystery, yet his blood runs in your veins. Perhaps it whispers to you the truth. the pharaohs is now open yeah the pharaohs will probably be a two or three part video because uh, this place is freaking huge guys this place is monumental it's a hundred floors and that's just to ascend it that's not including what's down below first ascent horizon of the first light all right so we have a waystone here, but uh, magic bind the device. We come over here. We can now teleport to and from the crystal. So what we need to do is need, we need to go on each side. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you start with. And we're gonna have some more some new enemies to fight. Now these black orbs. Um, okay, the black orbs are gonna be for a hunt later. And what I highly recommend is don't grab them. Um, I'm trying to think how to word this without really spoiling anything. Um, but yeah, let them let them float away, and they will be. Um, like I said, they're going to be part of a hunt later on. Okay, so we're going to come out here. This is on the other side of. Uh, we're going to come to this altar of night. Okay. Read the inscription. The beasts here dwelling oft possess black orbs. Here with approach by Thine offering sealed away to open. That kind of gives a... Uh... Oh, crap. Actually, I think this part... Okay, I think I might need one. It's been a while since I've, I've done this, but... There we go. Black orb. Touch the orb. You get one black orb. 
Now, later in the game, when we're doing the hunt, um, the Shadow Seer, um, yep, use a black orb. There we go. So we use a black orb, and that's going to break one of the seals, okay? The first seal has been broken. So, all right. So now we have to do the same thing to the other side, okay? We're actually kind of going go here. Ah, crap. I meant to grab that for the other side, but that, I mean, like I said, it's not that big of a deal. There we go. So that one's for the other uh, the other pedestal, if you will. We've got some uh, mist mares. Here we have a uh, urn. Oh, pardon me. All right, so we got a map, which the map really doesn't help you out a whole lot, as you can tell, but that's all right. See, this is the door we actually need to go into, but it's sealed, okay? Because we have to go to the other side and do the same thing we did over here. Plus, with Redis out of the way, we're going to get more experience from enemies and whatnot, because... Uh, 87 gil. Okay, so we're gonna come back out here. Actually, we need to go into here. We need to go this way. Oh, hi. Oh, Redis is now 69. Okay, well, good, good for, good for Redis. Come out here. And same. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Night. There's a black orb. Second seal has been broken. Same. Now we're on, over on this side, so. All right, so now we can go back in. Not a rust. Okay, so the orbs I'm not too worried about at the moment. Should do want to grab just one more in case I have to use it for uh, another altar. I don't remember if I do or not, to be perfectly honest. It's been a while since I've been through this part, but... You obtain a Chimera head. Okay, so it still won't open. A pair of Hermes sandals. Okay. So where, oh where, what I might have, it might have actually, <coughs> <coughs> ah, there we go, Just going the right way here. Mother Trucker. I said it's been a while, so... We'll get there, it's just like I said, a matter of... 
fly away. Don't care. Okay. Uh, is it over here? Oh, right here. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, give me a minute, give me a minute. I'll figure it out. That should break the seal completely. The third seal has been broken. The seal of night loses its power. There we go. All right. So the waystone should work. Nope, not yet. But now we can go back to that door that was uh, locked. Or I should say was bound by magic. See if I kill. Not of rust. Another not of rust. You're gonna, apparently going to get a lot of not of rust. Get some really good experience, that's for sure. Now see, notice how this door, we can now enter, okay? Ahead the Watcher waits, first of three, ye without wisdom return whence you came, okay? Well, let's open the door. I'm not, I'm not worried. This is going to be the first, they said the first of three Watchers, which is, this is going to be a boss. This is going to be, um, 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 uh, it's a giant stone turtle. Uh, Pandemonium, I think is what his name is. Huh. There we go. Looks like an ordinary turtle. Or, looks like an ordinary rock, excuse me. Basically, um... Similar to the rock toys that we fought earlier in the game. Notice, I mean, we're we're over leveled. Ancient turtle shell, nice. Let's speed this up, guys, just because we've seen it before. And of course, palings come into play. Okay, gambits, Balthier, you are really falling behind on your gambits, sir. Who has the who has blind? Is that is that you both here? It is. Why not? Do your job, both here. Maybe just wait for the paling to fall. Boom. Down it goes. Like I said, not hard at all. Not hard at all. Alright. Pandemonium down. That's one of the three watchers. I think it's... Uh, the 40th floor is the second one. And, like, maybe the 70th floor or something like that is uh, is the third. And then we reach the top. Um, we're also going to garner two more espers here in the Pharaohs, um, which should give us uh, 9 or 10. And then we can access uh, the Hene Mine, the, uh, the deepest reaches of the Hene Mines. This also has um, by far my favorite cutscene in the game. 
uh, at the top of the pharos, but uh, the magic binds, binding the stone fades, so. Hey. And now, I, if memory serves me correctly, now we can go to the waystone. See, we're on the second floor. I hate to say it, Redis, I, I like you, but you're taking a- oh. I forgot, every time I attack Redis. Oh, I'm sorry, we'll just roll with it. Yep, there we go. That uh, touch the device, and I think this takes us to like maybe floor ten or something like that, and then we actually can start our ascent. Yep, floor number ten. Alright, so now we're going to go through here, and we're going to start our march up the Pharos, so here we go. Things are going to get tougher, or I should say enemies are going to get tougher. I don't know why I just did that. Yeah, this is where we just came in at, I'm pretty sure. No idea why I did that, but hey, okay. Ninety-four gill, nice. Okay, now those things there. I want to point something out to you guys. Brain pans. Okay, notice how there is a gap in the flooring. Okay, brain pans will make uh, sections of the floor appear like that. See, like so. And then when the path is complete, it will. Uh, the floor will be completed and we can cross. Now, there's also these things called uh, deaters or something. I think that's what their name is. Um, that take away... And, uh, they also rather build flooring to, like, loot and stuff. But, yeah. You hear that, that sound? That's the sound of a, of a piece of floor being put into place. Treasure, not rust. Another not rust. Ooh, Dragon Helm, nice. I don't want to lower my strength that much, so no, it's not happening. And then... Oops, there we go. Take you down, so there we go. Now this section's complete. Now we can cross. Notice we, uh, we ascend the pharaohs quite quickly. Um, yeah, I mean, 100 floors, yeah, it seems like a lot, but it goes super quick. Mother Shrucker. I knew that. that I freaking knew that was going to happen. I forgot to put uh, the embroidered tippet back on. So Vaughn is going to be, like, way fucking behind. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is, we're going to get... 
Vaughn caught up. Motherfucker, can't believe I did that. So the thing is, I knew. I'm like, motherfucker, did I put that back on him? No, I didn't. Yeah. There we go. We'll catch back up to the others here. We got to do... We're at, Vaughn's at 154. Yeah, both ears at 82. So yeah, we got we got some catching up to do. But it's not a big deal. goes up. We're getting there. And in some of these areas, there is this uh, fool's facade. It's a fake wall. So we can do that. This one didn't really lead anywhere, I don't think, but... Yeah, apparently not. That's all right, though. <laughs> no, missing one. Oh my God, Vaughn is like way behind. Find another brain, man. getting somewhere. Slowly but surely. Damn, that was pretty damn badass right there. Is that enough to make my path? Where are we at time-wise? We're about 22 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna break uh, break the part off here in just a minute. Yep. There we go. Eighty-eight, eighty-two. So we're just about there. I see. There's a treasure chest over there. We're gonna have to kill some uh, some deer deerters, diders, or whatever they're called. Um, similar to brain pans. Um, which we should be encountering one here pretty soon. Two seventy. Okay, so there we go. Now let's get the rest of them back in here. There we go. See, then there's now we get like almost twelve hundred per. As opposed to whatever the hell it was, like nine hundred something. Doesn't seem like much, but power armlet. Good sound it means the floor is coming 
Oh, that's the fool's facade. Go this way. Okay, there's a diner. And I do want to show when you kill a uh, a diner, we should have a piece of floor, a red piece of floor down here. I mean, we'll come back through here later, too, to... Something struck on me, that was rude. time about 26 minutes all right yeah we're gonna cut the part right off here guys um we'll pick it up uh immediately the next part right exactly where we're standing all right so sit tight and i'll catch